Welcome to the Cosmic Busker. My name is Bobby Cody. I saw a murder with video. I've contemplated for a long time whether I should do this video. This happened a couple weeks ago, I think it was. I think the date was March 12th or 13th. I decided I would. Um, there's video of um, the aftermath of the murder. I'll put that at the end of this particular video if you're interested in taking a look at it. That, the, the, that video was shot by a gentleman who was rooming with me here at the homeless shelter. I'm staying at a homeless shelter. Uh, I'll give you a little background real quick on what happened uh, regarding the murder. Uh, the person who committed the murder was actually sleeping right next to me here in the shelter. Um, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> I've been homeless five years, child support. If you want to know how that happened, I got a book that describes everything that happened that led up to me becoming homeless. The book is called Mommy Issues, down below. It's a free book. Uh, you can download the PDF link down below. <clears throat> um, I want to give a little background on this first. Uh, I'm here at the shelter now. Previous to this, I was at a hotel where we were, that was provided for the homeless. We all had our own rooms, which was great. Uh, no murders there that I'm aware of. A few deaths, but I won't go into that. Um, both the murderer and the victim, the man who died and got killed, were staying with me at the hotel so I knew them from the hotel as I stated we all had our own rooms at the hotel uh, I'll give a little background lead up on this uh, it, it's as much to explain to myself and get an understanding of my own behavior uh, and why I acted or, and the way I did or didn't act because I saw the whole murder I'm the only one who saw the murder um, and I didn't intervene, and usually I would intervene. I've intervened before in such sick circumstances. Uh, there's one incident that happened in 2020, I think it was March of 2020, might have been late February of 2020. I saw a big guy, Justin, I knew him, I had talked to him a couple times. Six, former Marine, six foot six, Close to 300 pounds and muscular. He's huge. He's a mountain of a man. And he was attacking the police. I, I'm five foot six. He's a foot taller than me and about twice my height. Oh, it's twice my weight, excuse me. I ran over, jumped in front of Justin, uh, threw my chest up against his stomach, because I'm a lot shorter than him. Uh, wrapped my arms around him and stopped him from attacking the police. So, you know, uh, I am one to intervene when I see things happening. I didn't intervene in the case of the murder. And I'll, I'm going to give a little background right now that will help to explain why I didn't intervene. Uh, as I stated, I was staying at the hotel up until January 31st when they closed the hotel with both the murderer and the victim. Um, they moved us to a shelter in which we are here now and we share a room. Ten cots in one room. Uh, the murderer slept right next to me. His name is Dathan. Uh, I'll post a link down below to a news article as well so you can read about the um, the murder and then the news article that describes it. It's very sparse. But um, prior to Dathan sleeping next to me here in the shelter, uh, Dathan is the murderer, or alleged murderer, I should say. He hasn't been convicted yet. We were at the hotel. Uh, my first interaction with him was uh, he's very violent and aggressive, Dathan. And my first interaction with the hotel, I, he was sitting down, and I was knocking on somebody's door to talk to them. And he wasn't there, and I asked Dathan a question. I, mean, I don't even remember what I said to Dathan, but he misheard me. And he, he, he as I asked him a question. He said, rah, rah, rah. He's yelling, what the fuck did you say to me? He's like, you want to go right now? Let's go. 
and he storms over into his room and he opens the door. He says, come on, let's go right now in my room. We'll go at it. I'm like, all right, fine. You want to go, motherfucker? I wasn't going to... I was just in a bad mood and somebody... I'm like, why is this person attacking me like this after I asked him a question? So I stormed right into his room after him. We went nose to nose, literally nose to nose. And he's like, why did you say blah, blah, blah? I don't remember exactly what it was. I looked at him and said, I didn't say that. I said this. And I corrected him. He goes, oh. He goes, sorry about that. I thought, you know, so he apologized to me. He said, and then he told me, I was going to stab you. I said, wow, okay. And I just walked out. Um, but after that, he had a lot of respect for me. He would say, hey, this guy's a badass motherfucker. He would tell people that I was a badass motherfucker or whatever. Um, so I'm, and Dathan would do this to everybody. He was very violent, very aggressive. Here at the shelter, he almost got in a fight with numerous people. Um, so that's Dathan. Uh, I'll throw a picture up of him. I may have already done it. Uh, we'll see from one of the news articles uh, that had a picture of him. So that's my experience with Dathan. I knew how violent he was and that he claimed he was going to stab me that one time. Now the victim, James, again, I stay, as I stated, he was staying at the hotel. Um, my interactions with James, the victim, uh, may he rest in peace, a couple times he asked me for things. Hey, you know, do you have any coffee or do you have some? I don't even remember exactly what it was he was borrowing. But, you know, I said, yeah, sure, come on up. I think I gave him like a whole thing of coffee, a whole, literally a whole can of co ground of coffee, I think. He said, oh, thanks a lot. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna give you some money when I can. And I said, oh, great, that's great. I could use the money whenever. A couple times I did that, and every time I said, great, I could use the money, whatever, he never gave me the money, he never came up. So I was like, you know, I don't trust this guy, uh, and, and, you know, that was very, it didn't make me look well on him. So then, here at the shelter, he, we're all in, there's three different rooms in which they keep uh, people and you know they say you're not allowed to walk in other people's rooms oh, that they share that. Not, I'm right now I'm recording something Moses hold on please so um, so people had walked into his room and he would freak out he'd yell and scream and he actually came into our room and walked into our room to tell us we weren't allowed to walk into his room and you know the first time he did it I said to everybody else hey he just walked in our he just walked in our room to tell us we're not allowed to walk into his room he can't walk in our room either then he can't be a hypocrite and he did that twice and then the second time everybody I was with said hey get the hell out of our room get out damn hypocrite so you know I had already made the determination. I wasn't going to help him if anything happened because he had t twice I lent him something. He never reciprocated, even though he said he would. He was a hypocrite in regard to walking in the room. Don't walk in our room, but we, he could walk in our, in our room. Hypocrite, you know? So. I had already made the determination, you know, hands off. If I see anything happen to him, he's on his own. So I was outside smoking a cigarette two weeks ago, and um, Dathan and James, uh, it, the whole thing was over, over rooms again. Dathan and Murder walked into their room and James got mad. And so they took it outside. They were right outside in front of the shelter yelling and screaming at each other. And you know, Dathan's sh relatively short. He's about my height, five foot six. James probably about six three, I'd say. He was really tall. And I didn't see the initial stroke, but they were yelling and 
screaming at each other, and James punched Dave and, and jumped on top of him. And he, he hurt him pretty bad. Um, I ran over, tried to break it up. Uh, we broke it up, me and Dutch. And um, after it broke, was broken up, Dathan immediately pulled a knife and went running after James. Uh, by the time he did that, I was over back into my little location uh, two feet away, and um, he chased James with the knife, and he knew what he was doing. He went like this with the knife. You know, this is the hand with the knife. He went like this, and... James turned his back like that and he just basically presented his back to Dathan essentially which is a big mistake because that's the kidney and boom the knife went right in and uh, sorry I had a little, little bit of recording problems there the knife went right into his kidney uh, I think James was dead in couple minutes it didn't take long he bled out um, I'm gonna show a video of that now uh, James was out, had a white thermal shirt on and you'll see in the video it looks dark and red that's a white shirt you can't see any white because it's just covered in blood so I'm just gonna cut to the video now um, that's it um, thanks for watching everybody like share subscribe comment all that good stuff Damn, I'm trying to send this to my daughter. <laughs> to this dumb shit. Yeah, over something dumb. Stupid shit. Man. I mean, that little young boy, he needs to go to jail for life for doing that. Tell you, they need to lock his ass up for life for doing that. Yeah, they need to lock him up for life, man. Dumb, dumb motherfucker. They need to go to jail for life. Lock his dumb ass up. Lock his dumb ass up. Send this to my daughter. <laughs> to this dumb shit. Yeah, over something dumb. Stupid shit. Uh, I mean, that little young boy, he needs to go to jail for life for doing that. Tell him they need to lock his ass up for life for doing that. Yeah, they need to lock him up for life, man. Dumb, dumb motherfucker. They need to go to jail for life. Fuck his dumb ass.
I know. Shoot, shoot his ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, they shoot it. They shoot it. I'm telling you, that car should have shot his dumb ass. Go ahead. Oh, I thought she said to go ahead. No. Oh, that's uh, yeah, it's cold. Let's see if we go around the front and get in through the other door. Yeah. I think I'm dumb. If I see the tape, I wouldn't. 